So when I was painting yesterday, I didn't really get a chance to uh, to show you the new um, EZL Classic Mini um, uh, pochade box that I'm using, or paint box. Uh, and uh, I, I can say after using it yesterday, I'm actually really happy with the purchase. I like it a lot. So, um, but I'll uh, I'll show you what uh, kind of what it looks like, and what, and maybe some of the reasons why I chose it, and uh, and we'll check it out. So number one was, uh, is it going to fit in a modest size backpack, which was uh, really the purpose for uh, making a switch in the first place. It's not that my French easel wasn't doing the job, um, it's just that I was packing a lot of weight and sometimes I walk uh, a couple miles um, to a painting spot, so I just wanted a lighter setup. And, uh, and when I travel too, um, I'd like to have something I can easily take along, so that was in the, in the cards as well. So I'll show you. Um, so this was my backpack, and I'll show you if you see down in there. Um, the uh, box easily uh, fits in here as well. Um, here's my uh, my brushes are all in this pouch here, and, uh, and then in the middle pouch, um, I've got uh, the uh, brush holder, which actually I need to get some paper towels out of that. And a roll of paper towels, and then I've got my pouch here. Um, that I keep all of my all of my paints in so that's uh, in the middle um, in the top here I'm able to fit my um, my brush cleaner uh, which is just uh, an odorless uh, mineral spirits is what I like to use and then my little hook um, that I use for that and I've also got some bungees in here which uh, I use sometimes if I need to hold down, if I need to hold down my uh, my easel or my tripod in this case, um, and I'll show you what's in the front pouch. And then in the front pouch, I always carry water, obviously, um, as much of that as I can. This is the uh, the device that's actually used. Um, I think as a dog tie down, but this is what I screw into the ground and I use the bungee cords to attach to uh, attach to my easel or in this case my tripod. Um, when it gets windy and stuff it'll help it from tipping over. And then uh, I carry uh, some extra mineral spirits always because a number of times I've knocked my mineral spirits over and uh, without that it's going to be really difficult to paint. So, um, So that's in here. And then my uh, my tripods can fit on the side, or there's a strap down here underneath where they can fit. And then I'll show you. Uh, I'll get my I'll get my easel out here, and I'll uh, or my my box, and I'll show you that. Okay, so here's the uh, here's the box, and uh, you can see there's a really nice maple here, and this appears to be uh, some type of a mahogany um, plywood, really nice. Uh, brass hardware and uh, a couple of clasps uh, on the front here a, a carrying handle which I probably don't intend to use but um, on the bottom uh, if you're sitting it on a table there's some bumpers here um, this is my tripod quick release mount um, the box comes with the uh, with the brass uh, plate already attached here and uh, and so I'll just open it up here um, one second. There we go. And so um, I uh, got a piece of Lexan, eighth inch, painted it uh, just a primer gray on the back side, um, which gives you a nice mid tone for uh, mixing your colors on. And then it's, I actually took some clear silicone. Um, which goes all the way around, which kind of holds that in and sort of seals that seals that area. Um, the way this particular box uh, is designed is um, these little arms come out, and uh, it will uh, it will hold my five by seven, and uh, so 
I can that's the smallest that I uh, that I paint for my quick sketches and it does hold it so uh, I was glad to see that I may uh, I may add uh, a piece of foam or something under here to uh, actually make that a little bit more secure but that's really no big deal because I've got my other uh, <clears throat> my other push shot box that I use specifically for um, 5x7 I did buy um, a second here. I did buy the little brass uh, uh, brushed metal um, brush holder um, and you saw, probably saw that in my video. Uh, that worked out really well. I did sort of put it back here where it fits kind of tight against this brass. Uh, the brass and the wood right here. So it just kind of stayed. I kind of like it toward the back. But So that worked out good. And uh, the, But the best thing is, is the largest um, uh, that I do typically when I'm uh, painting uh, plein air. Usually a 12 by 16 is about as large as I go. So... Um, I wanted something that would give me the full range but still be uh, as small as possible. So I've got one here. I'll show you how that fits. One second. So there you can see um, holding the 12 by 16 um, even though the top uh, brass piece doesn't completely capture it, um, it does actually have quite a bit of pressure on it and that's if you're using a stretch canvas. It's not going anywhere. Um, it feels uh, feels really secure. There's really nice spring tension on the top piece and it just fits uh, You just fold out these two bottom brass pieces uh, and then uh, just kind of lock those in place against the canvas and pull up the uh, brass piece here and it captures it nicely so um, and it'll it'll uh, do it in a vertical format or a horizontal format and uh, so for, uh, for that reason, I'm actually really happy with it. And here I'll just show you kind of how that works. This just pulls up uh, and it goes up uh, quite far. So um, I don't know if you can see that, but it goes up quite far, which is great. These, uh, the brass uh, pieces here on the side, um, I was actually quite surprised at how strong these are. I, I expected some sort of a friction fit that may slide under pressure, um, but they uh, are actually, once you tighten it up, it's very, very stiff, and uh, so I don't foresee any problems, any problems with this uh, setup at all. Again, very, uh, very robust hardware. And, uh, since I'm showing you all this, um, you can probably see, if you're familiar with my previous palette with my French easel, um, I've actually incorporated a little bit of what I like about the uh, David Curtis um, palette that I've been using in my smaller push odd box and then my normal palette. So I've actually changed my colors a little, which tripped me up a little bit yesterday, but um, halfway into the painting, I wasn't even thinking about it. I was just uh, uh, mixing color again. so. It didn't take me long to adjust to it, but what I've what I've done is uh, uh, let me get this set down. There we go. Um, I'm using a Hansa yellow here, um, an Indian yellow, and then a yellow ochre, which is uh, is new to this particular mix of colors, um, a cad orange, and then I switched to uh, rose matter. I uh, was using alizarin crimson before. Um, and after mixing yesterday, I'm actually quite uh, satisfied with the rose matter. And uh, uh, I have my ultramarine blue. Um, I brought in the uh, um, cobalt violet, and this is still the hue. I'm still a little bit too cheap to buy the real stuff, but I'm going to. I'm working on it. Um, it's, uh, it's definitely an intention to get the real stuff. I just want to use up what I have first. Uh, and then I'm using a uh, cobalt blue. And uh, for yesterday's uh, painting, I dropped in a uh, sap green. Um, I may uh, use viridian in its place at some point, and then obviously uh, titanium white. Um, even the arrangement of where my white is is a little bit different for, uh, for my typical palette. But anyway, I'm uh, super happy with it, really satisfied. And, uh, and really like the uh, I like the box a lot so as I use it a lot and uh, it gets more use and I have more time to experiment with it I'll keep you informed 
about it, but uh, uh, it's definitely a uh, definitely a product that, uh, from initial use and from the looks of it and the quality, I would definitely recommend it. So, all right, so I want to give you a look at that, and uh, my uh, intention is to uh, post a little more often. So um, I realized the other day, you know, if I'm I do a lot of things that are between painting sessions that I video that are actually pertaining to painting and uh, have something to do with that. So um, I, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and post a little more uh, often and just kind of show you what happens uh, uh, between the scenes, so to speak. So anyway, um, thanks for uh, checking out my video as always, and uh, I will see you next time. Thank you.